Hi, this is David Abdullah welcoming you to my channel. Uh, I apologize that I haven't been able to upload the video any quick enough as much as I wanted to. I don't want to take, uh, make any excuse but I'm not well, I haven't been well so that is the reason I haven't been uploaded any video at all for the last over a few weeks now. So I apologize. Now let me ask you something. How many of us has been or hasn't been told by our parents or teachers or lecturer or anywhere in your job, anywhere you went, that um, constantly they didn't tell you what to do, when to do. And if you don't do it, then you're going to be sacked or you're going to be demoted or you're going to be whatever. You know, they tell you all the time, right? So, but the thing is, none of them actually explained what is the lesson behind it um, so maybe those are what harsh words or harsh or wise word but they didn't explain so some cases it sounds like that they don't even know uh, that why they're saying it so they're just saying it because they've been told to say it and without because they don't realize it's somebody's breath new to the place or work or here even in YouTube, but they just say it to you. Always there is something deep down that there is some sorts of lessons, some sort of reasons, about, but what is that, that what you can't see it, you don't see it, but when you see it, you can't unsee it. So let me explain something and I will try to be uh, precise or try to be quick as possible so that it doesn't bore you to listen to me. Uh, please stay with me all the way because uh, you might find this uh, video uh, or this my video might give you something to you can relate to yourself or the people you care or people around you. For those um, you prefer uh, prefer the Ami Bangla if I want me to do in Bengali uh, please let me know in the comment below or uh, so that I will try to make it in Bengali but if you prefer to read it please go to this link above and it's on my website and then that will give you something to do and that will help you to understand. As I said earlier that I haven't been uh, well so I didn't have, therefore I couldn't do anything. I didn't feel like to do anything, but I was wondering that what sort of I can do because I'm not professionally anything that I can tell you or people who do in here on YouTube. Uh, I can't travel much because of my health, as I said, and people who know me about it. And so I was looking around to find some sort of uh, ideas or thinking about what I can do. Um, so when I was, thinking about that my past and my whatever I have been doing why can't I why don't I you know try to share with you and it came to me those lessons I meant that uh, I was listening to a brilliant amazing speech here on YouTube and that gave me the context and some of the um, thing that I can't explain it to you but I use those terms that maybe make you understand what to, what I actually talking about. I probably or surely did not understand those words uh, or the way they told me, especially when I was young and naive, um, even though, you know, my parents or anywhere, anywhere in, in my life. My dad was, uh, who was a brilliant mentor to me. I miss every second of my life and my respected teachers as well as lecturer and all my instructor. So I comply, compile. So I compiled <laughs> some of those uh, so I can share with you. Um, uh, so be honest with you, with, uh, be honest with you folks that I believe every single of them and try my best to follow as much as often in every single phase um, of my life. But uh, you might ask me that, um, if I know, if I know what it is and what is the meaning of it, why I haven't been successed or why I haven't been succeed in my life or why I am here on YouTube doing in here or I haven't been, I haven't got thousands of a million subscribers by now. Um, the thing is, um, in that case, just bear with me, stay with me all the way to the end 
uh, then you find this video useful please let me know on the comment section below at the same time if you like my video please hit the like button or smash it if you prefer that way uh, share with the people that you care and please please subscribe my channel which helps me to creating more contents um, like this or something that you want me to do I will try to compile it so because before I continue some of you or most most of my friends and people who know me basically and know my background not for them maybe for those who are new to my channel uh, let me explain about my background so that it give you something uh, to understand that why i'm doing this and what is the reason behind it i will try to keep that as simple as quick as possible but uh, if not that happen i will let you know maybe we'll do another one to continue that but let me let's see how far i can go so talk about me um i'm from a family that my father was really one asked to be disciplined it's not that yes sir no sir thing but he wanted us to be disciplined in our life so it doesn't it if you know so i grew up that way because my father was a hydrographer um, and uh, i had the opportunities that to travel with him uh, on his survey vessels from very young stage of my life by the day passes obviously he joined as a uh, pilot seagoing pilot a port pilot as you can see and he became a, a master pilot to become a acting harbor master the thing is by that time i was in high school i had the opportunity with him uh, going to various vessels over 100 ships if i count it and i'm get to see people let to see the captains and their how the work uh, especially those are you know like a British company or the company there's all over the world so it's from like British trip to German or you could say Dutch or whatever that is you know, just it's, I can't just sit down and tell you how many uh, countries are there but they are there so I wanted to because of those obviously I was young at <laughs> that time so I wanted to become a a captain and I thought oh if I become a cap if I can become a captain so I can be a pilot uh, because that was the criteria at that point and uh, so I start dreaming about it that I wanted to be joined the you know join the ships and stuff but when I finished my high school when I went to the the college um, in Dhaka Bangladesh is Notre Dame College that the college I always proud of and I'm especially the proud of the best from 85 and uh, because I am one of those uh, you could say the the best team or best batch I can relate to uh, but anyway because of my upbringing because of my job uh, was not the job the study I was doing so and my cousin at that time was a senior architect so I thought because going to the ship slow down a bit because I'm not there all the time so I thought oh let's try maybe change it to my lifestyle to architect because I like drawing and doing the uh, all those things that they want to do I wanted to be architect I trained it for them but the thing is there are things with the family and everything it has changed and I think my destiny's already been written so by an 88 uh, I joined the Merchant Marine and uh, I joined the Merchant Marine at that time I was only 18 years old but I had the opportunity to also to go to the uh, front line to become a full face Marine but or to choose the navigation so I chose the navigation side the because the reason is that I don't like fighting I don't like fighting each other I don't like killing innocent people uh, to for the sake of my belief or the one I've been told or whatever the reason is because that doesn't solve it because the more you fight the fight is always there by 94 I um, completed my uh, my what you call the, the my certification over here in UK and uh, I become, I could sell as a chief officer with uh, some restrictions. That's nothing that restriction, which is about the size and the area territory that I have to sell. But anyway, by 2005, my journey kind of stopped. And by 2008, I, my health got this, you know, really, really gone south. So I had to, I had to stop and I, 
I had to think a different way. I wanted to look in for show work, but I couldn't do it. My health gone really bad. So I started working with various okay. disabled charity because they were the one who came help me at that point a lot. And also um, in citizen advice, in our local citizen advice bureau, uh, I'm still helping them out as a volunteer as an advisor. As I said, by 2008, I was only 40 years old and I couldn't find, I stopped. My li life kind of become stopped. Um, and uh, and I, it took got that bad that I became a wheelchair user, which I needed to go anywhere if I want to go. But that didn't stop me. As I said, I was volunteering, uh, working everywhere. Um, for those, if you want to hear about me a bit more, just follow the link above, and that will take you to my uh, my website, and that will. Uh, understand. Uh, so by 12, 2012, 13, I started watching, well, I took the photography. Uh, so I wanted to learn photography a bit more because I bought my first DSLR um, in 2012, 13, and it was a gift for my kids, but basically I bought it. But, uh, and I didn't know all this, you know, the buttons are there. And I thought, why I should take auto, auto for, uh, you know, all auto all the time. Why can't you do something different? So I start reaching out people. I reaching out here on YouTube. I find a couple of people that I still follow their books and uh, their guidance. If you interested, I've done a photography. I've done a video about it. If you follow the link above, it's there. And then that will explain to you. And I also put some link down below. And if you click it, and if you like those books, if you want to buy it, that will help me to make some more videos as well in here. Says that, saying all this, um, now get to the point that when I started, this is something that we all do. Um, some of us automatically we do, or some of us maybe been told that to do, and which is a very simple thing. First thing when you wake up is to do your bed. Um, now, some people might people think that, you know, what's the big deal about it because i wake up i have to do the bed yes because it is a bed that you do and um, because what happened is in your life that uh, when you do the bed you actually done something when you are a small thing but you done something you done the bed up which means that you actually achieve something very fast thing in the morning and then uh, your day would be because when you leave the room it's nice and tidy so by the time you go your mind will be fresh you feel fresh so that when you go to work whatever about the job you are doing and because while you are doing your job you could be face a lot of uh, thing like uh, humiliation or maybe rejection adversity challenge uh, so that by the time you finish the day you become so tired um, and you could be shattered and mentally and the physically so all you want to do is hit the sack and you know recharge yourself and then get ready for face the day again all over again maybe in a better way but those are the one who actually made the bed first thing in the morning and that might give you to do the job you do whatever you do because you've done that task then you do automatically you do the everything in a i mean doesn't matter what we do you do it every time so you do that then you have your breakfast you get fresh you get up get ready you go to co whatever you do college school uh, university or job but you do and that is the main thing that you finished it by the time when you come back home and you're tired all you want to go to bed and if you've done your bed fasting in the morning, which is also a very simple, very simple task, but you have done something, your mind will be that way that, no, I started something that to do, you know, started my day by doing something, by achieving something. Um, so the main thing is, the, the lesson in here is that, that you started the day with a simple task, which is, if I refine it, which makes it that start the day with the task completed and that is the main thing that you've done the task completed I'm telling you about myself when i wrote a little story about me um my dad used to be my father was my mentor and so because of him i learned a lot and he always has guided me uh, as my you know guiding start to take me send me back home take me home 
Um, obviously everything didn't pan out the way I always wanted. I was so close about what I wanted to do. I could smell it that I was, but I failed it to achieve what I wanted to. Uh, but that is something that I can't control. I don't think anybody else can control because of my health. I couldn't do it. You can find here in YouTube, you can find um, people, a lot of, lot of different type of people. Some are serious. Maybe I am one of those, I don't know. Uh, some are funny, some of them are newbie as I am as well. And some of them are established, established enough to be here uh, on YouTube that everybody know kind of a household, people know about them. Um, I don't know if somebody feel, feel how they feel about it or they follow about it or they just watch it about because the way they do it. Uh, it's like uh, Casey Owen Neistat, Peter McKinnon, Tony Nathra, or Chelsea Nathra, Jared Paulin, and they helped me. And as I said, my father was my inspiration, my guiding star, and I used to look up for him uh, to guide me home. Since he's now gone, I find myself lost at some time point, and I'm down. So when I'm down, I remember what he would have done or what he would say to me. So when my life stopped due to my illness, I couldn't stop. So I uh, myself has been trying to keep myself up. So I took photography, as I said, and I now I started doing YouTube. But all these things I have done, I always look for somebody so that they can guide me through. They don't guide me personally, but their uh, publications and stuff like that, they help me a lot. So I feel that, that you know, I, I always look out for something. Sometimes people feel, you know, if you choose somebody, they might think that because they are so established, um, so they don't like to follow. But the thing is, if you just follow what they do, if you try that, you don't have to do exactly what they're saying. You can take the idea from them and then you do from yourself the way you want. But they are only there to be your guiding, as a, like a guiding. You don't follow because you don't know. If you focus one thing, I'm sure that you won't be able to go straight away. You have to go sideways. So that, that is the thing that if you follow something, you do something your way, make it your way because that's what you are. But you find somebody the, I mean, basically, the lesson is that the find someone to help you through the life. Doesn't matter what life you are doing and how you are doing. Another thing, the next thing that people, most of the people, uh, sometimes they forget when I see it, which is that respect others. It's not, you know, doesn't cost you to respect other people. Why don't we respect? Some people, um, you know, in a job, or anywhere, especially when you're looking on YouTube, uh, if you ask somebody for your help or the help, they feel like they've been threatened. And because they think that they're taking my space, if I teach them, uh, I will lose what I got. But then again, thing is, uh, if I, the way I think it's, if I teach them, the more I teach people, the more I learn. And the thing is, if I don't respect them, I have to respect. I learn respecting younger, my younger than I am, uh, or you know, the older than I am. My people below my rank wise, or anything in your life in general, your children or something. If you don't respect them, they will not learn how to be respect other people. So that my argument is that what is not, it's not harm to respect other people. So because you don't know that. People are asking for help. You don't know you need their help in your life at some point because there are always, for example, here, the subscribers, they probably just started. So they start watching you and then they like your video, they subscribe you. But if you do something to hurt their feelings, if you don't respect them, they will go away. So the respect is the main thing. So the main thing to success in your life is to respect everyone. The next point is that whatever we do, no matter how much we put our effort in our work, on our, you know, whichever work you want to do here on YouTube or in your profession, as ever, whatever you are, but there is always someone is always gonna be pick your mistakes. They're gonna say, oh, you done that, you done that. Or maybe what they're gonna do is they put the mistake such a way, instead of talking to you, 
you know, explaining it to you, they're probably going to be say it such a way that will affect you to go forward because they don't want you because they feel threatened uh, that you are doing well so that when you do something small mistakes, they want to make a bigger issue, big issue about it. And then they're going to try to put it, put a color on it. And then so you become a victim. Some people might find it, they, you know, they don't see your mistake as a mistake. But some people, they think that you want to be go up. You want, you know, they help you because they see your potential. But as most of the people, or some people, I would say majority of the people, um, I would, well, in that way, I would not say that everybody the same. Everybody is not that, you know, picking on you. But the thing is, uh, some of you, some of them, some people I find it in my life, or you probably been, um, if you are, strong enough if you are positive enough you probably overlook them but there are people that they will always want you to pull you down get your mistake they don't because they don't want you to be succeed they don't want you to be succeed in your life because they feel as i said they feel threatened that if they do it way they, you know so some of the people they left the job some of people uh they leave the job or they quit i done a lot of mistake a lot of thing in my life so something that I've been told, oh, you have to do that way. And I always think, always think, well, the way I'm doing, I'm not enjoying it. So why not I try a little bit different way? And the thing is, if I did different way, I have actually achieved, probably I have done it, but it took me long time, long time because I'm not enjoying it. But the way I enjoy it, as long as I stay on the focus, as long as I'm doing it, I believe that I will reach the goal. Now, the thing is, do you think by doing that I wasn't in trouble? I was in trouble so many times. I've jumped ships several times. On the other flip of the coin, I've been promoted a lot of time because of that, that what I do. And um, because sometimes that had happened, that is simple mistake make, to me, the simple mistake without knowing I'm probably doing a big mistake or people when they, you know, put the color on it it make it bigger instead of just to clear that off and then see the bigger picture to it um that will help but some people they don't like they just strip the other people no matter how far you are you probably gone up all the high but they're gonna lose because you've been pulled up by that but then again i don't want to go through all it again and again the same thing thing is if you stopped and if you don't do it then i would I done it, as I said, in here, in the life, in this life, in YouTube, a lot of people I heard about that they've been done a mistake and their channel been taken down and things like that. And then they came back and they came back. They're doing well, maybe not so uh, many subscribers that what they used to have. But the thing is, they already got that loyalty and the people subscribe them and they know him. And then he started and they started doing it. So they help. And the thing is, uh, the lesson behind it all is that life is not always fair. Life is not always fair. So move forward. Now, I think it's getting too long, but I just let me one more point and then see how far we are going. Okay. So, um, I mean, what I'm saying is that we will all, I mean, we all have to face different challenges, different hard hurdles, obstacles in our life. Uh, some perhaps pulled into the boss's office for some words, or at the principal's office, some words, or by some those, you, you know. You know what I'm trying to say is that our every step that we take here in YouTube, even that we're going to be you know, some sort of strikes, now, because you can't win all the time, you can't win. It's no way you can. If you say you're always winning, you are. You have to. You, you always because if you don't fail, or if you don't fail now and then, you will never succeed and you will never learn. Take it this way: that you work hard, but because you never fail in your life, and you don't put because you think that you are success, you you put don't put the hundred ten percent of your job, whatever you're doing, that success. Or that is, is it, it, do you think is a great achievement? No, it's not. The reason behind it, because you never fall, uh, you never had done, if you didn't know the mistake. One mistake that will drop you like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> but that happens. So, you know, Will Smith says, uh, if you said that, if you heard about his thing, he says that fail early, fail often, fail forward. So the point in here is, 
don't be afraid to fall often. I don't know if that make any sense to you. What I meant is that you learn from your mistakes. You fail it, you learn it, and you get forward. So that's what I meant is don't be afraid to fail often. Now, guys, before I finish, before I finish this uh, for today, I will obviously carry on. There are some more points that I could actually try to take, but if I wanted to say it, it will be take longer. So let me stop here and I will try to put that in my next video as soon as I could upload this one because I have to, uh, because it's for me, uh, it's sitting here that long. I actually had to take a lot of break that you didn't realize it, but I had to take break and it's very hard for me to sit down for so long. Um, to do that, what I must saying is that especially people who have the channel in YouTube are starting a YouTube channel. Have you heard about TubeBuddy? Uh, it's actually a simple apps uh, that you can put it on your cell phone, iOS device or Android, or you can actually put it on your uh, browser as an extension uh, from your browser. It works on Microsoft Edge or Safari Chrome or uh, Firefox, whatever you are using, it will work, but just check it out. Uh, that it is works on your uh, thing is absolutely free to join uh, for disclosure this is not sponsoring me to do it but you can help me by clicking the link um, what actually is you join there you link your YouTube channels logins and then you give the access to the tube buddy and then you can check check up check out you know how you're doing your success you do all these things so you can click it because to do with the studio and go through all those things it take about five clicks but whereas on TubeBuddy you just click one click and it's there to see that how much you are doing where you are doing so anyway um, just follow the link and then that will help you if you follow the link that will help me so all this time guys thank you very much for sticking with me and I will try to come back as soon as I can finish it up there are a few more points that I want to talk to you about something like the taking the risk oh. you know like the bullying against the bullying and things like that I will I will try to explain that next video quicker because obviously I don't have to tell my story then uh, please come back and I'm sure that if you are want to be with me follow me you're gonna be I will as soon as if you hit the rib, ring the bell it will tell you as soon as I upload my next video and obviously please come back and uh, subscribe my channel uh, if you haven't already uh, hit the like button or sh you know smash it the way you want and share it with other people that you care about it and maybe they will find something interesting and they might you know find uh, something they can relate to themselves so anyway thank you very much for yourself thank you for being with me uh, thank you for watching my videos. The way normally I said at the end here when I finish is that the life is short. So live long and prosper because uh, you don't know what come tomorrow. So guys, thank you very much again and I will look forward to see you on my next video. Thank you very, very much. Allah Hafiz. May Allah bless you all and I will see you in my next video.